So in part one of our guide to towing, we looked at how to match a car and caravan. Now we'll show you how to load up your van safely and hitch up correctly. Loading your caravan correctly makes a huge difference to the way it tows. Too many heavy items at one end will act like a pendulum, making the caravan less stable. It's much better to keep heavy items like awnings close to the caravan's axle or to carry them in the car. As well as keeping heavy items near the centre of the caravan, keep them low down. This lowers the caravan's centre of gravity and will make the outfit more stable when passing a truck or being caught by a crosswind. Medium weight items can be a little further from the centre of the caravan and higher up and you can afford to keep lighter items higher and further from the axle. Make sure everything is stowed securely so nothing moves around if you corner sharply or need to brake hard. Once you've packed your bags and your camping gear then you're ready to hitch up. First, make sure the gas has been switched off and that any internal water tank has been emptied. Then, make sure the handbrake is applied nice and firmly and wind up the corner steadies so that the caravan is ready to move off. Now is a good time to check the nose weight. The downward pressure exerted by the hitch doesn't exceed the tow ball's limit. Then, wind the jockey wheel so the caravan hitch is high enough for the tow ball to pass underneath it. Have someone stand beside the hitch to help guide you backwards as you reverse your Mitsubishi towards the caravan. Ask them to hold one finger pointing over the hitch and use the other hand to direct you until the tow ball is in line with the hitch. Reverse slowly and carefully and make sure you can see your helper's hand signals and hear their voice. Reversing cameras really help. Cameras are standard on many versions of the ASX, L200, Outlander and Shogun. Once the ball is directly below the hitch, lower it down with the handle raised until the hitch latches to the ball. Different hitches behave in different ways, but you can expect the handle to snap down and an indicator to show green. Double check by winding the hitch back up a centimeter or two. Now wind the jockey wheel all the way up and stow it securely. Connect the electrics and attach the breakaway cable. Clip it through the steel ring welded to the tow bar if there is one. Make sure the car's handbrake is on and then let the caravan's handbrake off fully. Fit towing mirrors to your Mitsubishi so you have a clear view of the road on either side of the caravan. Next, check the lights on the caravan are working correctly. Use your helper to confirm all the lights are working as they should be. Now you're ready to set off, so here's a quick reminder of the important points when loading and hitching up. Load heavy items low down and above the axle. Check every essential step when loading has been followed. There's no harm in using a written checklist. And always make sure your lights are in full working order.